Let's go, Franchise Squad! Well, there's a lot that's gonna happen today. Today is the rookie draft. All right, and I actually have a halfway decent pick. Yeah, round one, pick 15. So I have round one, pick 15. It's a lot higher than it would have been. When I acquired Devin Witherspoon, I also acquired a first round pick, which is pick 15, which is way higher than what I would have had. So that's amazing. So we're round one, pick 15. You'll also notice that there are an absurd amount of trades in here. That's because I do plan to trade away Patrick Mahomes. I have a trade waiting from the Chargers, the Browns, the Nighthawks, the Seahawks, the Cardinals, and the Steelers. I don't know if I trade Mahomes right now. I guess these trades kind of depend on how I want to look at the draft, though. All right, well, here's the mock draft. They've got me taking Leo Thyrar. Elite speed, elite jumping, elite acceleration. This guy's a dog. I wouldn't be mad if I got that guy. Although, I'm going to be honest. Like, what I'm personally targeting in this draft is a wide receiver. I, think, I feel like I really do need a wide receiver. Greg Morris doesn't look to be too bad. He's got elite speed, elite excel. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to let the draft play out. And, and once it gets to our pick, we'll fucking ball out. And we'll see who's available. I do want wide receivers. Here's the prospects right now. Number one wide receiver is Nolan Kincaid out of North Carolina. Good speed, solid strength, great excel, elite agility. And he's got tons and tons and tons of A's. So he'll probably be the first wide receiver off the board. There's Deacon McPherson. Here's the next best wide receiver available. Elite jumping, elite strength, good speed, solid acceleration, really good stats. I could draft a quarterback too because I'm trading Mahomes. But I do I do plan in my, in my trade for Mahomes, whatever team is trading with me is obviously going to give me their quarterback. Like they're going to trade a quarterback and Mahomes. I don't really want... I could though. I mean, if there's a super elite quarterback available, I could draft a quarterback. I just want to draft and see how it pans out. You know, I don't want to overthink this. I don't want to go too crazy. On it. So what does this team need? We've got Devonta Smith. He's good. My wide receiver depth is trash. We need a wide receiver, right? So a wide receiver would be a good call. I plan to trade Mahomes away. So potentially you could draft a quarterback. Uh, my center and right guard are kind of ass. I could draft an offensive lineman, probably a guard. That's definitely something that's doable. And then defensively, I could use a linebacker. Alex Anzalone is getting way too many reps. If we had a young rookie who was like faster and could develop, that'd be pretty nice. So my, my like chart is wide receiver, guard, linebacker. Also a D tackle. Scouting private workouts. Wait, I didn't even realize that I had brought players in for private workouts. So I guess... Wait, I can choose players for a private workout right now? Let's go Alex Uverpace, just in case he's still available. He's a field general middle linebacker, so I don't even know if moving him to outside linebacker is a good call. It probably isn't. All right, let's just confirm that. I just, like, I don't feel mentally prepared to trade Mahomes right now. Justin Fields, Brian Burns, round one pick 22 and round one pick 23, and then Adrian Phillips. So I don't need Adrian Phillips at all. So this is just a pointless piece of the trade. We're making a... X-Factor edge rusher swap. Brian Burns for Will Anderson. Okay, here's how I view this trade. Because I don't need Brian Burns. I would rather have Will Anderson. And I don't need Adrian Phillips. So if I took Will Anderson out, it's basically Patrick Mahomes for Fields and two first-rounders. It's a trash trade. Dude, are you guys, like, fucking with me? Are you guys, like, just being fucks? These trades are shit. Patrick Mahomes is round one pick one. You better offer me your round one player. Probably your round two player. And I don't know about after that. What about the Nighthawks? Let's see. Do I get a first legit offer? You want my young? Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Does somebody want to offer me a real deal trade? Or am I just going to sit here with my cock and my ass? You want my round one pick one quarterback and my superstar X Factor 99 overall middle linebacker for a washed wide receiver. Tua turned the ball over and... Jaguars want to give Mahomes for Burrow. Just a straight up quarterback swap. Okay, that's not happening. Eagles. Elton Jenkins, Cooper Cup, Trey Hendrickson, round one. You guys are smoking dick. Ayahuasca Rodgers and Evan Engram for fucking Mah The Cardinals. Mahomes, Devonta Smith, and my first round pick for Debo and Kenny Pickett. Seahawks. Mahomes and Will Anderson for Danny Dimes, Miles Garrett. Get the fuck. Oh my God. These are so dog shit. The Jets, Mahomes and Devontae Parker for Keenan Allen, Jared Goff. Fuck you. Chargers, Fields, Odell, two first rounders. I'm drafting. I'm drafting. I'm drafting. We're going, we're drafting. Fargo, take us to the draft. Let's go. Let's get some studs, boys. Very first pick, round one, pick one. Colts take Anton Pittman, D tackle. From Texas Tech, round one pick two is up. Everyone should, I have a feeling people are going to pretty much know what their picks are. 
And I think round one, I'll probably go wide receiver unless there's like really obvious linebacker I should take. Let's take a look at these guys. Ramon Batiste. Great speed, great strength, elite jumping, great acceleration. He's a six foot wide receiver. Nolan Kincaid and David Feetman. We'll see if they fall to me. They're both top five guys. So Mike Vick does look insane. The, the tight end Mike Vick. Huge cock. Hugh cock. I don't know what happened in here. It's good speed, good strength, great excel, elite change of direction. It is weird that it's saying they're zero foot zero though. I don't know what, I don't know how that happened. Alcazar, round one pick 15 is nice, man. But here's the thing. So after my round one pick 15, I'm going to be the end of the second round. So Nolan Kid K, oh, it is David Feetman. I think that's a real, I think that's a real auto-generated name. Dwayne Simmons. Yeah, that super good right guard goes right there to the Cincinnati Bengals. That guy shot up like 121 draft stuff. Deacon McPherson goes to the Panthers. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of the wide receiver I was looking at. So that is a bummer. I'm going to go back and look at these wide receivers now that are still available. How is Nolan Kincaid still available? Why does somebody just take Deacon McPherson over Nolan Kincaid? David Feetman is a top five wide receiver as well. It's probably the speed thing. Ramon Batiste. Great speed, great excel, elite jumping, great strength. Daniel Thomas goes Rams. I'm about to be up with this first pick. I'm about to be up. Red, white just went. I'm up. It's our pick, boys. Okay, let's take a look at the whole board. There's two top five wide receivers still available. Two wide receivers were taken before these two. It must have been because of their physicals. I think both those guys had elite speed. Is there anything else I want? Uverpez is okay. Taron Gentry is a round two, three talent. So he's a no. It's one of these two. I'm taking one of these two receivers. Nolan Kincaid is the first wide receiver. He's a top five wide receiver. Is it really possible that he sucks? I think what happens with him is he's just not fast. That's why people pass him. His speed is good. Jumping is great. Great. Elite agility. Great acceleration. The reason I really like so Ramon Batiste. Great speed. Great acceleration. That's hardly better and he's further down the draft board. I just don't think I can do this. Greg Morris is elite speed. Elite acceleration. I'm going to take Nolan Kincaid. Nolan Kincaid's been at the top of every draft board. He was projected to go third. I think nobody wants him because of speed. But, bro, if this guy's like superstar, superstar X-Factor out the gates, holy shit. I've never been a guy who drafts 99 speed players anyway. I'm taking Nolan Kincaid. Need hidden dev. When I click this, I need hidden dev. One. Come on, Nolan Kincaid. What? That is not Nolan Kincaid. That is a black man. Nolan Kincaid is... Uh, ethnically ambiguous, but probably white. That is not Nolan Kincaid. Ooh, Nolan Kincaid. Yo, he's got the N-word pass, and he could get canceled if he said it. That's crazy. This motherfucker's transracial. Nolan Kincaid. I am honestly so shocked that he fell that far. But I guess, I mean, it is, it's a user control franchise, so people value speed and stuff. He's got 92 speed, which already makes him my fastest wide receiver. I think that is faster than Devonta Smith. 93 acceleration, 96 agility, 92 change of direction, and 91 jumping. This guy's a fucking monster. He's black! This is so crazy. The two top five wide receivers are still in here. Kincaid looks like he's gonna come out the box like a 76 overall at least. I like that, uh, I like that Uverpace is still in here. I would like to take him if I could. If I can't get you Verpes, it's really just whatever linebacker looks best. We got Matt Hayes here out of Florida State. There's Josh Bryan out of Oklahoma State. I'm almost, dude, I kind of like this guy. He's 6'3", 285 left hand. I would move him to D-tackle too. But are his physicals so bad that there's just no way he's hidden, Dev? We're up, boys. It's our pick, gentlemen. Dirk Dawkins is B to D block shed. <sighs> Hidden Dev's really important here. Hidden Dev is really important here. He's not a bad option. If I panic, I'm taking Kirk Dawkins. Good, good everything all around the board. He's okay. He might be Hidden Dev. That's a decent option. As far as left end goes, though, there's this dude, Hugh Parker. He's kind of far down here. He's around 2-3 projection. Speed is poor. His physicals aren't that, gay, that good. He's got two greats, a solid, decent, decent force. I, I don't know if he's going to be Hidden Dev. But A block shed, A tackle, B power moves. That's like a D tackle. That's D tackle. That guy's built for it. And then the only other guy I'm looking at at all, not Terry Hayward, elite speed, great acceleration, great agility, great change of direction. Whoa, why did I not look at you before? Yo, fast ass left outside linebacker, Antoine Barry. I'm about to pull trigger on him. I did not see him before. A 6-1 pass coverage left outside linebacker to replace Alex Anzalone. He's technically left outside linebacker. I'm gonna move him at right outside linebacker. This motherfucker's fast. If he's hidden dev, this is a gem. If he's not hidden dev, He'll still be good. Antoine Barry, left outside linebacker, 89 speed. Let's go. Huge pick. 
Yo, Antoine Barry, 89 speed, 89 acceleration. And that's the end of the draft. Yo, what a draft, boys. So Nolan Kincaid and Antoine Barry, the draft is over. We only did the first two rounds. Everything else was simmed. Antoine Barry, dude, this guy's a fucking beast. What do we got, baby? Nolan Kincaid is an 81. This dude came out. This has got to be the best player in the whole class. How did I, why did two people pass on him? Two people passed on Nolan Kincaid. Apparently Nolan Kincaid is truly black. 81 overall playmaker, 80 slot, 77 deep threat, 74 physical. So 92 speed, 93 excel. This is why everyone passed on him. Cause his speed was rated as solid. 92 speed, 93 excel, it's amazing. 86 catching is good, catching traffic's mediocre. Route runs are okay, deep route run is trash. Spectacular catch is solid, 96 agility, 91 jumping. 92 change direction is really good. It's a very nice, it's a very, very, very nice wide receiver. Then Antoine Barry, this is our round two pick 32. The biggest thing here is that he's a hidden dev. Uh, 73 pass coverage, that's low-key what I'm probably gonna do with him. That's kind of how Anzalone was. Anzalone was getting a lot of interceptions because he was in pass coverage a lot. 89 speed, 89 excel, 78 pursuit, decent zone coverage. Power of finesse moves are horrible. He's never getting to the quarterback. He also looks exactly like Nolan Kincaid. 87 agility, 78 jumping. Uh, looks like the computer took Devontae Clinton free safety. I assume he's hidden dev with that overall. So what, does everybody have the same face scan in this draft class? That every single person has the same? Kind of stupid. Devontae Clinton. This is Hillary Clinton's son, by the way. You can tell by his skin color. 91 speed, 86 excel. See, he's mid. He's mid, and not only that, but I don't need a free safety. So I wonder, yeah, Devontae Clinton, he's a 5 die free safety. I'd either trade him or just, I don't know, do something with him. I'm gonna look at the whole class soon. Paul Price, right guard. What did I say? I needed a right guard. And the CPU got me a hidden dev right guard. Okay, I'm 100% sure this is strong, though. This draft class is 100% strong draft class. 6'6", six, six, uh, rookie out of Georgia with 89 strength. I might start him. I might start him. I don't know, though. Maybe Matt Feeler is still better. Also got me a... Uh, Brandon Davis, Wyatt Matthews, and Aaron Lloyd. Some trash. I didn't get a D-tackle. They did pick me up a D-tackle, but he's horrible. All right, let's see the whole draft class. I think I got the best player in the class. I'd be shocked if there's something better than an 81 overall. Here's every round. Damn. That right guard was crazy. Holy shit. So Dwayne Simmons, that right guard that shot up like 100 bazillion, it was an 84 overall. Eric Franklin, halfback, was an 83 overall in the second round. 99 awareness is why he's such a high overall, though, because he's only 90 speed, 91 excel. That's really not that good. Kincaid, my boy. 92 speed. Anton Pittman, that was round one pick one. Wow, that's a very good D tackle. Ramon, oh my God. Ramon was the only, I was going to take Footman. Footman's not up here. Ramon was a very good wide receiver. 93 speed, faster, faster than Kincaid. Trent Idiot, 80 overall. McMahon's an 80. Reggie Thomas is an 80. Nick Smith's an 80. Roosevelt Goodwell, 94 speed halfback. Now that's a nice pick. And Anward Krakar. <laughs> All right, dude, hell of a draft, boys. Let's advance to preseason week one. Let's take a look at this roster here. I don't know if I have auto adjust depth chart on. I'm going to find out right now. I do not have auto adjust depth chart. I think my morale is reset too. Do I put in the rookie right guard who was hidden dev? Or do I keep in Feeler, who's a higher overall? Smith was getting a lot of reps. I like Devontae Parker, but I don't like him that much. I guess I did lose Andy Isabella. I didn't realize it, but I did lose Andy Isabella. Well, we'll just put Devontae Parker at three, Nolan Kincaid at two, and Devonta Smith at one. And let's go to slot wide receiver and make sure that Nolan Kincaid is my slot so that Kincaid is getting as many reps as we can get him. So Trent Simpson's left outside. Middle linebacker is Roquan Smith. And my right outside linebacker right now is Alex Anzalone. Anzalone's gonna come out for Antoine Barry. I know, it sucks to lose Isabella. Maybe he is a free agent. But low-key, if this much time's gone by, somebody picked him up already. Low-key, though, we could sort this by speed and get ourselves a kick returner. Get Bo Melton a kick return. It's like, it's really not a bad idea. You can return them, bitches. I'm gonna sign Bo Melton and put him at kick returner. So Matt Feeler's a 77 overall, but he's boosted by morale. So what is he actually? So the guy we drafted was Paul Price. Let's put Paul Price in. Let's do it. Yeah, and we got to relocate. I'm going to worry about all that next time. Boys, amazing, amazing draft. So just to overview, we got Nolan Kincaid, round one pick 15, the 81 overall, hopefully superstar or superstar X-Factor wide receiver. We got Paul Price, drafted by the CPU, a hidden dev right guard. So I'm moving him into the lineup as well. And then defensively, we get Antoine Barry. That was my round two pick 32. He is a fast 
Hidden dev linebacker. I hope that reminds you of someone. Remind, it should remind you of the defensive rookie of the year, Trenton Simpson, although he's not as fast. 89 speed, 89 acceleration, total beast. I'm excited for him to play. Hopefully he gets some uh, gets some good reps and, and does as well as Anzalone was because Anzalone was really good last year. Three X factors on defense. Emmanuel Forbes is looking good. Everybody's looking good. Andre Sisko won Super Bowl MVP and he did not get a dev trade upgrade though. So that's kind of crazy. Even Tyler Bass has abilities now, boys. All right, boys. Amazing draft. That was so much fun. I love you guys. Peace out, you guys. You guys are amazing. I'll see you next time. We're going to relocate, potentially trade Mahomes. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I think it'd be fun to try someone new. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.